Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Goyen. In our today's video, we will talk about addition and subtraction of radicals. Last time, we have uploaded a video on how to simplify radical expressions. And another part of that video is that we simplified expressions using conjugates. So, pwede nyo makita yung link dito, pwede nyo click or dito. And if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe at hit na rin yung bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, I am Teacher Gon. Let's do this topic. Meron lang tayong basic rule on how to add or subtract radicals. Kailangan mo lang tignan if the radicals are common or not. Ang tanong ngayon, how can we classify whether the given radicals are common? Ang gagawin lang naman, check mo yung kanilang index. If the index are the same, at the same time, the radical are the same, like this one, square root of 3 and square root of 3, makaklassify mo sila bilang common radical. And then, you can easily add the coefficients. So, for you three to visualize what I'm saying, we have here 7 times the square root of 3 minus 2 times the square root of 3. Puntahan niyo muna yung radical, para sila square root of 3. Ibig sabihin, pwede natin silang i-add. So, all you need to do is to subtract the coefficients we have 7 minus 2, that will give you 5. Again, 7 minus 2, yung coefficient sa labas, is 5. And then copy the common radical, which is square root of 3. Ito na yung sagot for item number 1. Now, let's move on with item number 2. So, medyo tricky siya kung titignan nyo kasi napakahaba. Pero napakadali lang ito. You have negative 3 square root of 27 minus 3 square root of 27 minus 3 square root of 27. So, dito, may dalawang ways kung paano siya gagawin. Pero gawin natin yung tuturo ko sa inyo. Una, papansin nyo yung square root of 27, square root of 27, and square root of 27 are common radicals. Pero, ang tricky part dyan, pwede pa natin silang isimplify. We can still simplify 27 at meron siyang factor na perfect square. Pero mamaya na natin gagawin nyo. So, applying the rule, of adding or subtracting radical expression, ang gagawin muna natin is to copy, or so, sorry, to add your coefficients. We have negative 3 plus negative 3 plus negative 3. That will give you a coefficient of negative 9. And since we have a common radical of 27, we can easily copy square root of 27. So you have square root of 27. Pero, sabi ko nga kanina, pwede pa natin isimplify yung square root of 27. And the factors of 27 are, gawin na natin dito, we have negative 9 times the square root of 9 times 3. And we know that the square root of 9 is 3. So, pwede natin siya ilabas. We can have this expression negative 9 times 3. At ang matitira na lang dito ay yung square root of 3. So again, sir, saan napunta yung, saan nanggaling yung, yung 3 at saan napunta yung 9? We extracted the square root of 9 and the square root of 9 is 3. And then, imumultiply mo lang sila sa labas. You have negative 9 times 3. This will give you negative 27 times the square root of 3. And this is the answer for item number Two. Okay? Ganyan yung solution natin dito. Now, let's have item number 3. Kapansin nyo, sir, uh, the radicals are square root of 27, square root of 3, and square root of 48. They are different. So we can add them or we cannot subtract them. May wait tayo on how to do that. Since the numbers are not common, or the radicals are not common, ang gagawin natin, Gagawa tayo ng paraan para maging common sila, simply by extracting the square roots. So 27, we know that the factors of 27 are 3 and 9. So you have 5 times the square root of 9 times 3. Ito naman, wala na ibang factors ng 3, so we can easily copy your second term, which is 6 plus the square root of 3. And ito, uh, ito include ito. As you can see, meron na tayong common numbers. Sa factors natin, we have 3 and 3 here. Ibig sabihin, 
meron tayong hint na possible na one of the factors of 48 is 3. So try natin na, you have negative 4, and the factors of 48 are 16, tama? Times 3. Kaya pa sinyo may common na. So we need to extract the roots. You have 5. And for the square root of 9, and then square root of 9 is 3, ilalabas natin. So it will become 5 times 3 times the square root of 3 plus 6 square root of 3 minus 4. And then for the square root of 16, that will give you 4. This will, this will become negative 4 times 4 square root of 3. Ito na yung mismo expression natin. Again, explain ko na sa inyo. Uh, we have here a factor of 3 nung galing siya sa square root of 9. Labas natin, i-multiply natin. And dito naman, the square root of 16 is simply 4. Kaya nilabas natin siya for multiplication. And simplifying this, it will give you 15 square root of 3, yan, 5 times 3, plus 6 square root of 3, at a negative 16 square root of 3. Now, as you can see, from the given above, we have different radicals, but by extracting the roots, or by simplifying the radical, na achieve natin yung common radicals. So, one of the one of the factors here, para maging successful ka, in adding and subtracting radicals, dapat marunong kang mag-simplify ng radicals. So, again, meron tayong video about that. Pwede siya panoorin. And we have the common radicals, so we can easily add and subtract the numbers. So you have 15 plus 6, this is 21, minus 16, this will give you how many? 5. So you have 5 times the square root of 3. Check lang natin ang ba ako. 15 plus 6, 21, minus 16, okay, 5. So, the correct answer is 5 times the square root of 3. Ay, pala sila. Coincidence lang naman. Hindi naman sinasadya. So, ito, we have here a simple, simple given. Ito rin. And let's move on with item number 4. So, item number 4, same scenario with number 3. We didn't have the common radicals, pero kaya, kaya natin siyang gawing common radicals. So, square root of 32 and square root of 128. So the factors of 32 are square root of 16 times 2. 16 times 2 is 32. Now, meron tayong clue. So possible na factor ng 128 is 2. So the factors are square root of 64 times 2. And as you can see, 16 and 64 are perfect squares. So you have the square root of 16, which is 4. So we have square root of 2 plus square root of 64, which is 8, square root of 2. And common radicals, simply add the coefficients 4 plus 8, this is 12, square root of 2. This is the correct answer for item number 4. Ganun ang kadali kung paano mag-add and subtract radicals. So pinaka-clue lang naman dito, una, you know how to add and subtract integers. You know how to factor numbers. You know how to simplify radicals. So if you have any question about our solution, pwede kayo mag-comment sa ating comment section. And if you have any suggestion or requested topic na gusto discuss within our channel, please comment down below para malaman natin kung ano mga kailangan nyo within our channel. So if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like, and subscribe at hit na rin yung bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, I am Teacher Don. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye-bye!